Welcome to another edition of the CINCOM Smalltalk tutorial series. This morning we're going to be taking a look at the workspace in VisualWorks and we've mentioned that this is other tools because in addition to working with the workspace we're going to use some integration that exists between the workspace and the inspector to demonstrate that you can be a lot more productive than you might think using just this set of tools. So let's get out of the way here and go into the tool set to show you what we're talking about. And here is the basic image started up. You may not be aware that this itself is a workspace unless of course you look at the title, but it's easy to forget because if you're using the PUL version, you'll see some explanatory text here. If you're using the commercial version, you'll see this image version number information that's here, but you can get a new page easily. So if you wanted to have various workspace pages with various pieces of test text in them, I can go to new and it'll push me a new tab here. And once I've started writing something, so let's just say that this was a bunch of small talk code that I wanted to use to test, and now I wanted to save that, I can just do save, and we'll say testfile.txt, since we're just saving it that way, and off it goes. Now the interesting thing is that that file is now saved there, so you see the tab title changed. I had to flip off and on it to see that, but in any case, it's showing me where that came from. And that means that I don't need to worry about saving the image for persistence of this. I can just rely on the code being out on the disk and then assuming that I have backups, it's going to get backed up for me. So I can keep it outside the image, which is a good thing. Now the nice thing is, one of the things about Smalltalk is you can typically go ahead and write code anywhere. So here I am up in the transcript. I could go up here and using the counter class, which I've loaded in here, I can just do counter new and highlight this and do an inspect and I can run things from here but what I can't do is this kind of thing a colon equal so I'm assigning this and notice that it's going to prompt me here and the reason it's going to prompt me is that if I'm in the transcript I don't have that many options I can declare this as a temporary variable or a global shared but I don't really want to do those things on the other hand notice the new option I get when I do this so let's give it a more meaningful name we'll call it counter colon equal counter new and we'll do a highlight and a do it and you notice it just executed and didn't prompt me well the reason for that is if I go over here to the variable tab you notice I now have an instance of the counter sitting there as a variable so one of the nice things about the workspace is that you have persistence in memory as you're running and you can just use that to your advantage so I can now continue to send messages to this counter add one and I can go ahead and do that. And then I can just highlight counter, do an inspect, and there it is. So there it is with my value of 1 because I added 1 to it, and everything's working the way I would expect it to. So you have your Smalltalk menu up here, which is identical to what I had when I was popping up the context menu here. You notice that it's much the same menu. I have do it, print it, inspect it, and debug it. I also have a few additional options down here. If I've opened this file from disk and it consists of Smalltalk code, I can file it in, meaning I can use the file in functionality of VisualWorks to execute the code and bring it into my system. I can use explain, which is kind of an interesting function here. It's telling me the counter is a workspace local variable. So I can highlight anything in my workspace and get an explanation as to what it is. Useful thing if you're not quite sure what you're looking at. Over here you have the standard edit menu, which you're probably familiar with. Under options, you can, if for some reason you want to get rid of the toolbar or the status bar, you can do that. I'm not sure why you'd want to get rid of these things, but you can. Under the help menu, you can get help on the workspace or on VisualWorks itself. Under the page menu, there are some options here that you may want to be familiar with. New we've already looked at. I can open existing files, so I can go out here and it's going to bring up a prompter. And now I can bring in, say, counter.st, which is an ST file with the source code for the thing that I was just working with and there it is. And I can also go over here to this and save and I can also rename my tab. I can tear it off. So if I wanted to have a second workspace for some reason I can tear it off out of here. I can also just remove it. So if I wanted to just remove a tab, so if I close this, let's not can let's cancel that. If I wanted to just do that, what I can do is let's go ahead and get a new page over here. And now if I want to get rid of this, I can just remove it, and away it goes. So I can do all of those various things. All of these functions up on the toolbar have hover help, so if you're not sure what the icons mean, you can find out what they are. They're pretty obvious once you look at them, but if you're not sure, easy enough to figure out with the hover help. 
The last thing I'd like to cover is something that you're probably not familiar with in the workspace, and that's kind of a cool feature. Let's go to counter new. So what we're going to do is just create an instance of this, and instead of having it here as a workspace variable, we're just going to inspect it, bring it up here in the inspector, and you notice that we haven't really attached it to any variable in this workspace here. So I can get my variables tab back by doing variables. Take a look at this. Let's just blow this away so that we know we don't have anything sitting there. So we don't ha currently have anything in variables. We'll go back to the text over here. So we don't have any variables defined and we've just got this inspector. So what do we do? Well, let's imagine for a moment that instead of a simple counter app, this is something much more complicated. And what you'd like to do is take something here in this inspector and be able to manipulate it. Now, of course, you can open this little tab here and work down here, but you don't have variables down here other than temps, so it's a little limiting. You'd like to take advantage of workspace variables, and you have this sitting in an inspector because what you'd like to do is have something in the inspector, manipulate the state of it here in the in, in, over here in the workspace, and then go back to the inspector where you can take a look at what's going on. Maybe run some features of the application to see where you're going with it. What you can do is drag from here into the workspace and you notice it's going to prompt me and say what variable name do I want to assign this? Well, I'll call it a counter, go with the suggestion. If I go to the variables view, notice that there it is and I've got that defined now so let's go back to the text view and at this point I can just start messaging it. A counter add one. Let's do an execute on that. And if I come back here and force it to refresh, notice that I've got the value set. Nice thing about this is you can have your application drag anything out of it, drop it in here, work with it in the workspace with all the advantages of workspace variables, and then go back to the inspector and see what's happening. And this gives you the ability to modify the state of an application at runtime outside of a debugger with all the live objects. So you don't have to be debugging it, you can just be running it as you normally would and see how things are impacted by making state changes and sending messages outside the context of the application. Because as we know, sometimes getting an application into the state you'd like it to be in to test something can be fairly difficult unless you can do something like what we just showed you here. It's a very nice feature of workspaces and inspectors that interoperate that you may not have been aware of but you should be. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Syncom Small Talk.